the Joe Rogan experience? A lot of the people who, who were amazing athletes who, um, they didn't start out vegan. They weren't born, you know, to vegan parents and then were vegan growing up right. and then, you know, had made all these amazing records and performance. They built their strength or their agility or their speed or whatever on a diet with animal products. And then at some point they became vegan and, you know, maybe their performance continued and they continued to do well, like Scott Jurek or Dottie Bausch, or maybe they had the vegan honeymoon where they did well for a while and then they declined, or maybe they just declined like some of the NBA and NFL athletes we talked about. But this is a critical point because there are key developmental periods when we're kids and also in utero mm -hmm. that like if, if you're not getting the nutrition you need then, it's going to carry through to your whole life. Yes. And so it's like, what did your parents eat? What did, what did they, your mom eat when she was breastfeeding you? What did you eat as a young kid? So we follow that whole argument through. If everyone becomes plant-based, it's going to have a m huge intergenerational impact on performance. It's not like people who built their strength and performance eating meat and then they go vegan, they do okay for a little while. It's like, what are the consequences of, of, of that happening to everybody? What are the consequences of growing up nutritionally deficient? Yeah. yeah. Of the mom starting that way and yes. then ha you know, getting pregnant and becoming deficient during pregnancy. And then the baby being breastfed by a mom who's nutrient deficient, and then the kid being fed a vegan diet and developing B12 deficiency, which then becomes irreversible, has irreversible effects. Are there any top of the food chain world champion vegan athletes? Uh, the, like the best of the best? Well, there's, like there's no there's no vegan UFC champions. There's, there's no uh, world champion vegan boxers that I'm aware of. There's Ilya Ilyin. Do you know him? No. He's the weight weightlifter that's, I think, in the same weight class as Kendrick Ferris, who was in the film, mm -hmm. um, and two-time Olympic champion, where I don't, I don't think Kendrick has won, uh, he's not won a gold medal. Um, but he was stripped of his titles because he tested positive for steroids. Right. So once again, you know, right. what's right. happening, it's hard to say. And Wasn't he, he was pulled from the film because of that, right? Yeah. He was yeah. pulled from the, f or, or was he in the film? I, I believe know he was originally Tim, supposed to be in right. the film now that you brought this up. Yeah, that's not yeah. a good narrative for them, right? right. And then you had like Tim Sheaf, if I'm pronouncing his name correctly. He was the, he's like the free runner parkour guy mm -hmm. who was going to be in the film. And then he had this very public, I'm not vegan anymore because it was destroying right. my health video on YouTube. He ate a piece of salmon and had a wet dream for the first time <laughs> in a decade. <laughs> right. Like, okay, buddy. It, I mean, it was, it was like... Poor bastard. Yeah, it was... Fucking starving He death. was doing everything... Po he, he did a 30-day yeah. water fast. Yeah. He, like, he tried everything to stay on the vegan diet. Yes. It wasn't like, oh, it's hard. I'm going to eat salmon. I should also tell you he thinks the earth's flat. Oh, does he? Yes. Uh-oh. Yeah. Yeah. I bet that could be the vegan diet all those mm -hmm. years. Rot in his mm -hmm. fucking brain. Yeah. Well, one of the main guys, um, you know, the, the anthropological argument that... Humans are, are herbivores because we don't have claws and sharp teeth. That all yes. comes from um, Milton Mills, a 1987 paper from him. He's an emergency room physician. He has no training in anthrop medical anthropology or comparative anatomy or anything like this. He is a creationist. Hollow. So he thinks that we were just built right. this way and with these by teeth God. and the way yes. by God. So. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, yeah, that that whole why don't we this? If we are a carnivorous species, why don't we this? How come we don't have the teeth to do that? Yeah. You know, how come you can't just grab a squirrel and eat it? I've actually heard a guy say that. Well, hey, fuckface, how come you can't eat lentils? You got to boil them. Yeah. You're know, like, what are you talking about, yeah. man? Like, cook. Try eating cassava without cooking it. You'll yeah, die. You'll die. Cyanide yeah. poisoning. Yeah, it's like that argument is so stupid. There's a lot of plant-based foods that are only consumed after lengthy cooking. Yeah. I mean, going back to your question, I'm sure there are high-level vegan athletes. But the, other, the thing is, a lot of the people who are commonly referred to, like the, Venus, the, the Williams sisters, Serena and Venus, they're not vegan. Yeah, why do they have them they're, in the film? They showed them in the film, and I was like, wait a minute, they're not vegan. Because they're often, people often call them vegan. They occasionally will have periods of veganism, I guess. Do they? But they're not vegan. They eat 
meat. They they eat animal products. Um, Tom, they look like meat eaters. Tom Brady is another example. Another you know, one who looks like a meat eater. Who who you know really does eat a lot of you know you know predominantly plant based, I guess, but eats meat, especially in the winter. The Williams sisters <clears throat> are so powerful. I mean, it would be a, a great like catch for that team right if they were vegan because right. like look at the the athleticism that these girls have yeah but nope but it was yeah. weird they didn't say they were <clears throat> vegan they just showed them and so you're like oh they're the best they don't need to say it they yeah just show just them show and them. that's it well that's same thing enough. with arnold he's talking <clears throat> yeah. great about veganism i guarantee you right now <laughs> carving into a nice juicy ribeye <laughs> come on show me a picture what is he doing? The oh, that fuck. Epic meal time. He did a video with them like five years ago eating a 80,000 calorie steak and egg sandwich. Oh Jesus my God. Christ, Arnie. When is this? Uh, Ostrich a eggs? A couple years ago. Oh, that's five years ago, bro. Yeah. That's a long time ago. Uh, he could be all vegan now, I guess, but. I doubt it. He, they, they, he was doing this while they were doing the new Terminator movie. Yeah. As a James Cameron movie. He's not stupid. Holla yeah. boy. And even if he is now, he didn't. You know, he didn't. He wasn't then when right. he <clears throat> accomplished all of his athletic yes, achievements. Yes, of course. So yeah, um, <clears throat> but that's where it's weird, right? It's like he did everything spectacular with meat, and now he's saying you don't need it. Yeah, yeah. But it's two pretty, years later, he's part-time vegan. He's saying in this article now. Now, well, this after was twenty six. Two years after that epic meal oh. time thing. Oh, so I got a picture of him eating, uh, in and out. That's, that's not a, a funny vegan. concept. Like, <laughs> how a, do you, how are you part vegan? You know, I'm sure vegans would take issue with that. I heard like, a guy <clears> yell, <throat> arguing with someone about this once. I talked about this. He said, I'm 90% vegetarian. And this was his argument. Like, that, like vegetarian is the way to go. I'm 90% vegetarian. Yeah. Like, bitch, that's 0% yeah, yeah. vegetarian. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> you don't understand math. Yeah. <laughs> you it's don't understand true. math. It's even r more ridiculous with vegan because yes. there's a whole ethos, obviously, around yeah. it. You know? I'm 90% like, on fire. Oh, I'm bitch, I'm you're on fire. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> Oh, man, that, that doesn't make it's any so sense. Stupid. Yeah, and it's, it's so like stupid. I said before, all it takes sometimes is a, a little because like organ meats and shellfish and fish and eggs are so nutrient dense. You don't yeah. have to eat a lot of them to get to get to meet your nu nutrition yeah, needs. Yeah, I've had this conversation with vegans too about mollusks, and I was like, you know, I've heard it argued, and Sam Harris was talking to me about this that you can actually make an ethical argument that mollusks are more primitive than plants. And that plants actually exchange more information through mycelium, through their root structure. Right. They, they actually communicate more with each other. Evidence of intelligence. Yeah, they're uh, mollusks are an older creature, and they're they're just dumb hunks of meat you can scoop out of a container. <laughs> I mean, they have no idea you're there. They have just basic movement where they clamp shut. That's it. I mean, they're not yeah. going stop. No, they're not trying to get away like a fish. Mollusks just fucking lay there. And they happen to be, like I said, among the most nutrient-dense foods yes. on the planet. Like one serving of oysters, I think, will meet your need for zinc for the entire week. Yes, that's pretty I mean, impressive. That's we're talking about, like, <laughs> yes, <laughs> and that's always been associated with male virility. Yeah, like I mean, zinc, zinc is super yes. important for yes. so many different functions. It's for also owners, high. they should have done that test, right? <laughs> Eat a bunch the of oyster. raw oysters. <laughs> Imagine that, right? Like eight times more than the guys right. who are uh, eating plants with a ring around their penis. Yeah. <laughs>